Joining me live on the broadcast is my colleague Sumit Chaudhary. Sumit, we've just heard Prime Minister Modi's addressing uh, the ISRO scientists in Bengaluru, where he not just said be courageous, but he also said there's a new dawn and um, there is no failures. It's only an experiment and we can definitely learn from this and move forward. In fact, he also mentioned that ISRO has a track record of many successes. Do, uh, do tell us what you make of uh, Prime Minister Modi's uh, speech. Well, definitely because he also mentioned that the best yet to become and it's a beginning of a new journey and that too when the uh, although we have been failed uh, in this mission but the, we also come to know we, the the strategy and the, we also come to know about the uh, what would be the next step the the ISRO will take because these processes or these kind of experiment or these kind of um, the the new experiment will teach each and every organization in the nation to do something new and in near future because because we have also seen the picture when the PM Modi have been have been have, have been giving a boost to the to the ISRO chairman, and he is clearly mentioning that nation is with you. So all these uh, the uh, these assurances or the or the boost to the uh, to the ISRO scientist will not uh, not only give a uh, will will help them, but also uh, the new journey has just begun for not only for ISRO but also for the whole nation. Back to you. As you rightly pointed out. There's going to be more missions lined up by ISRO, and this is just a stepping stone to and a learning curve, in fact, for many more missions out there. You know, there are many missions like the Gaganyan, uh, Nisar, Mangalyan 2, and Shukriyan 1. Take us through the upcoming missions of ISRO and what can we uh, see uh, next? Well, definitely, there are so many things in the in the, in the pipeline that will be that will be come uh, soon. Um, uh, but what is more important that India is the fourth nation which has conducted, and that too on the on the South Pole. And when when we talk about the new technologies, new experiments, new launches, then India will be considered as one of the most prominent nation. And if you if you if you remember that uh, this this whole project is around 978 crore rupees. Uh, that means the uh, cheaper than any other nation like China, uh, like Russia, like like US, these nations have spent so much of amount on this kind of uh, similar, uh, similar, similar uh, experiments or the launch. But India is one of those prominent uh, country, fourth country, which not only uh, 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 right. the, the project is cheaper for uh, for uh, for the launch, but also one of those nations uh, which have uh, which have uh, come to that uh, uh, level that they have now able to uh, send the uh, Chandrayaan two. They have sent able to send the Chandrayaan two at the South Pole. Well, right, right, as you rightly pointed out, that this has been an indigenous uh, a mission which was uh, less costly. In fact, India has sent out, sent out a big message to the world saying that, look, we also can do it by ourselves. We've just tried it. This, is, this was purely uh, an indigenous uh, uh, a mission. And uh, just wait uh, and watch in the near future. We can do it alone as well. Well, definitely because the, these kind of mission, because they, if you if, if you heard the uh, Prime Minister Modi, he also mentioned that we, uh, we should not, uh, the encyclopedia of the success will will not stop over here. And we have to go again and the success uh, ups and downs will come. Because if you remember yesterday also, he clearly mentioned that ups and downs will come. But we have to uh, keep moving ourselves. So these are the, uh, when the, when the, uh, when the leader of any, uh, any, any, any country or the, or the PM of any country have been saying all those, they, uh, all those things in, in front of nations. So that that means a lot because um, it's so, um, uh, most probably we uh, we uh, we not able to launch it successfully. It is not not able to land it successfully. But it's more important that up to the uh, 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 2.1 kilometers we are able to sustain. We able to get all those data. So that will also help us help us uh, help us uh, help us in getting more information more um, uh, more uh, about about uh, in future. Back Absolutely, and even the people out there, the citizens out there, are lauding ISRO scientists for their efforts to take on such a big challenge uh, to in fact explore uh, the unexplored uh, territory of the moon's surface that's the south pole you know it always takes guts to in fact go one step further you know ISRO scientists are also looking one step ahead you know while other countries have already explored the other regions of the uh, lunar surf uh, the lunar surface what do you think uh, uh, you know india wanted to make a, a statement in fact uh, uh, you know wanting to go and explore the south pole region
Well, definitely because the, you have rightly mentioned that this is a big achievement. At least we are not able to do this successful launch, but at least India has attempted this uh, this uh, this launch. But most importantly, which I which I also mentioned that up, up to the 2.1 kilometers, we are able to get all those data. We have a contact with the uh, with the Chandrayaan 2. But what is more important that in future, in, in near future, when ISRO will do the similar kind of uh, launches or similar kind of experiments or the or the or the or the big uh, big step have been taken by the uh, ISRO, this kind of launch, this kind of experiment will help in the near future. And also, when we when we have seen that um, uh, the whole world or the or the or the young scientists or the young students which have been uh, who uh, uh, yesterday also have been uh, monitoring and seeing uh, and watching the TVs, they also get uh, get the boost up that they will do a nation can do all those things which we uh, which with the Absolutely. with the developed countries have been expecting.